So you're considering optometry as a career. How hard will it be compared to other careers and will it be worth your time? What's up guys, I'm Josh Reese. I'm a third year optometry student at Midwestern University in Glendale, Arizona. And this is how hard it's going to be to become an optometrist. So starting at the beginning, optometry, at least in the United States, is a doctorate level career. So you're going to first have to take some prerequisite classes at a university or accredited institution to be able to get into school. So this means graduating high school or its equivalent and going to an accredited university or college to be able to take prerequisite courses like biology, chemistry, organic chemistry, biochemistry, psychology, and those kind of classes to be able to get into optometry school. Now you don't need to have a specific major, but usually you wanna have a kind of a scientific major to be able to complete some of the prerequisite courses and the optometry courses at the same time. So as far as undergraduate goes, you will have a little bit of a harder time in undergrad than some of your friends who might be, let's say like a business major or just doing things like marketing communication. So being pre-optometry is going to be similar to being like pre-dental or pre-med or any of the other allied health professions. To get into optometry school, you also need to take an examination. Optometry schools have what's called the OAT, the Optometry Admissions Test. And this is a test just similar to the MCAT or the DAT that'll be a standardized exam to see how well you will do in optometry school. Now, some schools accept like the GRE or even your MCAT, DAT, PCAT score. So you can submit those as well. That test is not super easy. So you might add on a little bit extra stress being able to get into optometry school through that as well. Now, optometry schools also do look for extracurriculars and shadowing hours. And so uh, you will be pretty busy in your undergraduate school, but it's not too much to juggle. I have a lot of videos to help you out with that stuff as well. Now, the next thing we talk about is actually in optometry school. Now that you've made it through undergrad, you've gotten into optometry school, how hard is it to become an eye doctor after that? Now, it's an allied health profession, so unlike being a DO or an MD, physician in the regular sense, it's going to be less years of schooling. Now, medical school is four years plus residency that can, you know, residencies and fellowships that can add up a lot of years. But optometry school is usually just four years. Now, it can be three or two years depending on the accelerated programs you can qualify for. But usually, people just do four years of optometry school plus an optional residency to further specialize. Now, these four years are going to be pretty comparable to medical school. I do have a friend who did the first year of optometry school, decided he wanted to go to medical school after that, and so he dropped out and got into medical school. And in his own words at Midwestern University, at their med school and their optometry school, he said they were basically the same or just as hard. And so now that's one person's opinion. I know that the consensus is that optometry school is easier than medical school. If medical school is a 10 out of 10 hard, Optometry school will still be like an 8.5 or a 9 out of 10 hard. It's still not going to be a walk in the park, but it is possible and I'll be here to get you through it. Now, you don't just need to graduate optometry school to become an eye doctor in the United States. You also need to pass what's called boards. So optometry school currently has three parts of the board examinations. Part one is the generalized board where it's basically like a trivia test of everything you've ever learned in optometry school, um, but it's pretty hard and it has a pretty difficult pass rate. Compared to boards of other uh, medical professions, optometry part one of boards is almost the hardest it can get. It had a 60% pass rate last year. Now that's things like COVID maybe affecting it as well, but optometry school boards are very difficult comparative to other programs. And so uh, you will need to make sure to pay attention while you're in school and study hard for those boards while you have them. Now, part two is the general treatment and part three is more of a clinical um, course of the general treatment and optometry. But once you pass those, which a majority of people do, there's over an 80% uh, ultimate pass rate of all of the tests, thank goodness. So just know that it is still hard to become an optometrist and pass those boards, but we'll be here to get you through it. Now, after that, 
becoming an optometrist, life can be pretty easy. You can go into just about anything. You can specialize in just about anything uh, from just refractions and glasses and primary care to contact lenses and specialty contact lenses to ocular disease, vision therapy, low vision. The world is your oyster. So hopefully now you understand how hard it is to become an optometrist. And hopefully this didn't scare too many of you off. I know optometry can be a really rewarding profession. It has been in my life. Also, sorry that I lost my voice. I just noticed. I know that you can do it. And optometrists have a very, very high satisfaction rate. So don't you worry. Once you become an optometrist, life is pretty good. Thank you for watching this far and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.